the mother and grandmother of a nine-year-old Arizona girl had been charged with murder after authorities discovered that the child suffered from severe untreated lice infestation when she died. Hi, I'm Lady T and welcome back to my channel. So two women in Arizona are now facing new felony charges in connection with the horrific death of a nine-year-old who died from symptoms connected to an untreated hair lice infestation. Sandra Krakovich, 38, the girl's mother, and Elizabeth Krakovich, age 64, the girl's grandmother, have been both charged with first-degree murder. The Tuscan Fire Department on the morning of March 27 responded to a 911 call about an unresponsive child at the home located at the 82 block of East Golf Links Road. Upon arriving at the gated community residence, first responder discovered an unconscious nine-year-old girl, attempted to perform life-saving procedure on the child, and contacted the Tuscan Police Department. Unfortunately, medics was not able to resuscitate the girl, and she was pronounced dead at the scene. According to court documents, after the child was pronounced dead, officials said that a large amount of bugs began to cover her face. Upon closer inspection, it was discovered that there was a tremendous amount of lice in her hair, first responders reportedly told investigators. In an interview with police, Sandra reportedly said that her daughter suffered from anemia and had been ill since March the 15th with symptoms that included headache, sore throat, fever, difficult breathing, and trouble keeping her balance. One of the victim's oldest siblings reportedly told police that her mother had attempted to treat the lice using mouthwash. Text message recovered from the woman's phone reportedly showed that they chose not to seek medical treatment for the child's symptoms. Sandra sent to her boyfriend on March the 14th and 15th saying that she knew she needed to get her daughter to the hospital. A week later on March the 21st, she reportedly wrote, Oh my God, babe. Listen, I'm in my room and my mom called me. Redacted was asking if I could check on her to make sure that she isn't dying. Sandra's boyfriend reportedly told her to take the child to the hospital, but she allegedly refused. Text messages between Sandra and Elizabeth also appeared to show that the lice infestation ultimately played a pivotal role in the lack of medical treatment. Now, in one message, Elizabeth, who reportedly watched Sandra's children while Sandra's at work, threatened to call 911 for her granddaughter. However, she decided against calling for help, writing that the child can't go to the ER with her hair, but that left me because you not home. In an interview, Sandra allegedly admitted that if she had sought out medical care for her daughter, probably would still be alive, investigators wrote in an affidavit. Sandra and Elizabeth was both arrested in March and initially charged with felony child abuse stemming from their treatment of the deceased child's siblings, ages 11 and 13. Police reportedly said that both children were also suffering from severe lice infestation. They was both placed in custody of other family members. The Pima County Medical Examiner conducted an autopsy and determined that the child's cause of death was neglect. There is a cause of death. The matter is undetermined, medical examiner Dr. Gregory Hurst reportedly said last month. She died from anemia from untreated lice infestation with malnutrition as a contributing factor. That's the cause. Dr. Hurst also noted that the child had fluid built up in her lung tissue, pale skin, and organs, liver necrosis, and iron deficiency. Records show that Sandra is currently being held at the Pima County Adult Detention Center on $55,000 bond. Record for Elizabeth was not available online. I can't imagine how bad this child's lice infestation was for it to have killed her it's unthinkable that any adult much less than the mother and the grandmother will allow her to literally die in front of them from lice i mean this is very sickening the lice on that child head literally suck her blood out you know lice are very contagious i'm surprised the mother and the grandmother didn't get it unless they did and they treated themselves and not the little girl and her brother and sister these two clowns are evil to watch that child suffer like that 
I don't understand how this could happen. I remember when schools used to check for lice. Heck, I, I graduated many moons ago. And I remember in elementary, they used to check the kids for lice. So I don't understand how no one helped that little girl. I mean, was the child not in school or then again, she may have been homeschooled. You know, reports didn't say. Shouldn't someone outside of the family have noticed? I mean, they are a real piece of trash and unfortunately will receive much better care in prison than they gave that little girl. May she rest in peace. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's continue the conversation down below in the comments. Make sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm Lady T. I'll catch you the next time. Be blessed. Bye. Bye.